for the next game of the NBA playoffs. This time, as another matchup here for you, it's the New York Knicks, and they're ready to battle again to face against the Orlando Magic back in Orlando at the Kia Center. Now, for this time, New York Knicks have already made this one away. For a long time, they've never been really been catching things on right there at this moment because the OG and the LB haven't been really been scorned for one of each of the drafts. But all knows for Jalen Brunson, he has definitely done a lot of great effort of his game. Sometimes it doesn't go really well for him, but for a whole life, it doesn't really turn out to be like everybody else did. It never really caught things on because of that one. Orlando Magic hasn't been slapping in there for a long game ever since. But just for now, it just keeps on going ever now. Well, let's find out who wins the next game. Standing by, I have another commentary I will have. Me phone, and we belong with Terry Cruz. And finally, we do have the first commentary I have to all give it to. It's always you know the remember of it. But it's not just for us. It's for someone that you may already recognize it before. Well, this time, Ultra Beast, and he's back. Ali LaForce will be here on the sideline, and that's right, we're about to be finding out who's going to win for the next game. Let's keep going at Kia Center. Guys, take it away. See you later for the post-game show. It's that time. Welcome back to the NBA playoffs as we're about to get this thing started here at Kia Center. I'm Terry Cruz and I'm here with Mephone and Ultra Beats. Ali LaForce is on the sideline. It's a night of ignite. The Knicks and the Magic rematch again here at Orlando, Florida. But this key matchup does have it called on. You call it for Jalen Brunson and Jalen Suggs. You know this one's not my only day that we've always seen, but this one's a goal, it's a good matchup to find that one out. And I really have a lot of a hard feeling for them. They've been doing a lot that challenging, but they do a lot of work, but the effort doesn't pay it off still. Hopefully this one keeps on coming if they get their through. The ball's set and we are all set to go. Ben Gerard, he's covered up here on Josh Clark. And Jalen Brunson is on Jalen Suggs. Wagner, he's also across here, right on the other side, here on Hardenstein. Then we have is Harris. He's along with Dante DiVincenzo. And finally is Carter Jr. He's along with the air player on OG Adobe. The first foul calls on New York Knicks. That's OG Adobe's first personal foul. Well, Wendell Carter Jr. really got that one coming in, and this one was a sharp start here. So this one's nowhere a lot of ability. They need to try that one to go up a better flow. You know, it, it's never like that before. You know, you cannot even try to slow that down. You can just make that one feel that hard it goes, but you don't want to make that one feel an important guy's impossible shot to get. It's the first free throw. Now, Wendell Carter Jr. really would have to go with a better strong angle. You may have just realized it. How does he make aggressive out of it? <laughs> well, I just made sure that if this one is going to stay at the right time, because Wendell Carter Jr. had it all coming down. You know, easy to say, spice that one up if you can. And good for the second. He has two shots made. Hasn't really scored that much in between. But he's trying to look for it in between. Well, I can definitely tell now that it might be a, a last game of a devastation and loss. They were trying to work off their really hard. But as I noted before, they already won that game in the first game. But it's not what they always do. When they try to work on that one on their own skill, they just got to make sure they take care of some of the business takes to go in between. That tackle is going to take a lot of time to work on. Now here's Carter Jr. He shoots over Hardenstein, and that one goes for the layup in for Carter Jr. That's his second bucket of the night. You know I say Grendel, Wendell Carter Jr., he's doing really good right now. Breeze is part of the games. Can't let that happen. And Hardenstein made that throw down. Here's Wagner, something's off here. We'll sing it over to Carter Jr. Carter Jr. now finding a hand to Harris. Harris with the layup, and good! Harris had that one with the first bucket in the game. 
Now that's what I'd say, Gary Harris made this one with a lot of the famous drive. This one said, it's just one warp, warpinox. Not just really what they was going for, but that is a change out to be the live out, to be the working on the, the between zone and outtakes. Granted, on sucks, screen on Ernestein, over in between, the coming now. That takes over again with the Jalen Suggs. He's got his first rebound of the night, now find Carter Jr. They finish the yard. The layup puts in for Carter Jr. What a take. We passed a minute. We passed uh, seven minutes in the game. Now he's a screen for Hardenstein. He's watching in. Hardenstein for two. Trump range. No good. Now that one is not going to take care of it on all the take. You know, it's probably what no one has ever just gotten it through. And you know, there's no more take that they were trying to leave off with the mark. They can't let that happen in between if they know how to stop it. Now he's a take here for Banchero with five seconds. Banchero shoots over Hart. That first shot misses off the wide angle, but you know, the open bound is not really like a, a taking. They can't let that one go shooting all over in between. Jalen Brunson does it again. Now I see what Jalen Brunson does. He gets that one pretty excellent shot. Just keep that one out of here if you know. Banchero. Sucks. Find again to Harris. Harris trying to swing it over. Off for two. And there was shot missed by Orlando Magic. OG Anobi on a fast break. Here he comes. And a foul's picked up on Wendell Carter Jr. Under five minutes as OG Anobi is on the free throw line shooting two. That will be his first personal and a first team foul for the Orlando Magic. You know, when you make the cut in that way, it's impossible do it that way, because you don't really take a lot of time to uh, get that shot in between, you don't take a lot of it on the offensive set, and this is causing for one of it on the defensive breakdowns to go right in between. You definitely don't want to make any mistake of it and go right, right away. Two shots. He hits the first free throw. And speaking of OG Ananobi, he's been playing with the Toronto Raptors until the new contract has been switching here from Canada to USA. And now OG Ananobi is with the New York Knicks after a great send-off thank you to RJ Barrett and definitely always know it for you make that one look like an easier way to take over in between. He makes the second free throw. Now your Suggs, he finds a dish off to Wagner. Wagner into Suggs, the back stepper makes it in. That one takes it all over for Jalen Suggs as he makes a bucket after Wagner. Now that's what I call that one, a great backup shot. Let's make that one in there, just a great uh, shot to take all over. That's when you start things off here and then you got to make sure you get this one done. Three pointer, unable to make that one in there. Wagner now finding Suggs. And he now swings it over to Harris. Harris gives a swing pass back to Wagner. Wagner tried to roll it out a bit. Now finding Banchero. Banchero on his right, and he makes it in. Banchero with his first bucket with 4 9 to go. And Wagner with the assist. New York trail by 6. And here's a look for the last night's game. They played against the Milwaukee Bucks. As of now, the New York Knicks survived it. They took out there with a, the win against the third place matchup right in between the Eastern Conference in, in the regular season. Well, all said now, I was really impressed with what he was doing. But that one, the New York Knicks, they took out Giannis on Google Facts. That was like a big takeover. And now he finds Suds. Here's Banchero for the dish off the triple range. No good in the outside range. And now back the other way. Ardenstein gets to Hart. Hart now finding Ardenstein with nine seconds to take. And it takes a ball steal. Here's Banchero to finish the drive and he's fouled. 
Dante DiVincenzo with his first personal and his second team foul for the New York Knicks. Now, I'm not really was certain that Dante DiVincenzo was going to try to deflect it, but that was a little too off the topic angle. I don't feel like that you wouldn't be able to be leaving it up all day long, but that's not what they usually particularly do. That keeps on coming out there, not even choice. It's the first free throw for Banchero. Now it's a new substitution deal for the Orlando Magic. Ask a couple players to check in, and a couple players to check out. All five players checked out is McBride, Brooks, Bogdanovich, Achua, and definitely Robinson. Never new change off here. Wagner moves over. Joe Engels, Fulton, Anthony are checked in. And he knocks down a second. Here's McBride, he will have that ball. Cover on Cole Anthony. Here's a take. Oh, Ventura takes the ball and swap it away. Here's Wagner on the throwdown. That's where you know for Moritz Wagner. Good pass off and what take for Banchero. Now that's when you're talking through it. As you know for sure, Banchero had two blocks in this game. That would be taking a lot of time to get there. Timeout call by New York Knicks with 2.46 to go in the first period. Tom Vimeo is a head coach for the New York Knicks. He wants to try to chat things over and get back in the game. Just only 2.46 remain in the first period. Off to a one of a start here in between, and it looks like they might be looking for some new players here from college basketball into drafting into the next level for the first and second round. Well, I might be saying, the draft lottery may not be the only way that they can just try to keep on going here for the entering the 2024 to find out who will take it in for the 2024-2025 NBA draft. So this might be the next one to be a uh, courtesy lineup with this matchup. And I was not really sure of it, of how this would happen. Because the commissioner of Adam Silver may need to know if he, if he could definitely try to like keep on that one. There's a lot of great players that can definitely make some help. In between the, uh, the last group zones, the secondary lineups, it's not what they always do for the same thing as they did. That's all they all do. They just wanted to get that one right away and just keep it going from the game by itself. Now I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a lot of like a lot of change on. We might see some a couple players from UConn entering in the NBA. Purdue coming in right now. Well, Alabama or any other teams like Orlando Baycott. Well, I would love to see that if Orlando Baycott can definitely play one of these teams. Well, a look here for the league leaders at the second chance points for the last three days. 15.2 was the last one. They're in fifth place. Well, they got to start doing it with a lot of rebounds to take. It's not what they always care, care for most of them, but I have no feeling about that one. They get them through. The layup will finish it in here for the Knicks as McDonough will have his first bucket. And Eagles will send it off. Now finds Vanchero. Vanchero now finding a candidate to pull Anthony. Anthony swings it over to get a Vanchero and now finding Wagner. Wagner. Brings up the two. Another missed one here for Orlando. McDonough with his first rebound now gives it off to Burks. Fultz with it now. Losing pressure. And that one sends it in with another two. This one goes back down by six. With two minutes remaining in the first period. Fultz. He found finds it again to Vincero. Now gives it again to Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony decided to go for three. That one rolls in and out. Achua had his first rebound, now finding Burks. Burks in a full way pressure zone. Over Wagner. That one take it over. Wagner's got his first rebound in the night, and now we'll send it off to Fultz. Ball moving back and forth here for the magic. And now he brings it back over to Fultz. The last game was happening against the Chicago Bulls. They only have a lot of points to make the range. Well, you say for now, it's just not what they really expected to let, let that one happen. But I was really assuming that they were getting a lot of like a pointer in there right between each games. But this is not what they always meant. Right between the home and away games, I don't know what will they be, but they can't let that one cool down. 
And the number next one puts in for Wagner. To say about all of it because of Wagner and their teams have been keeping strong up there. They've been really uh, keeping that one in between. There's no way that they can not let that one happen if they let score in big. They can definitely try to like, let that one handle and get from here. Jonathan Isaacs checked in for Paulo Benchero after the offensive foul has been called on the Orlando Magic. McBride for three. Three-pointer misses. Jonathan Isaac starts it here in game two. And he will send the pass over to Fultz. Here's Isaac now fighting again to Ingles. On McDonovich. The three for Anthony. Misses out on the outside of quarter. Well, they're shooting a lot of it. That's what Paul Anthony has to do to try to practice that one. This ranging is nowhere near. He's got to do some of the lever luck. Donovich laying the clock wind down, down to six. Achua and Anthony. Pushes over, up a two. No good, put it back, and he missed again. They will not count the bucket as it ends the first quarter here. Magic lead by six. It's a 16-10 score. We'll take a quick break when we come back to Orlando after this. Tuning in for the second period, we get this thing started. As right now, it is Orlando Magic. They lead by six. What is your call in between? I'll have an answer here in between the uh, Ultra Beast and Meepo. Well, the, the additional call for this one has been keeping us for our line of this chase game, but this one's not really what they've always been expecting. Like, when you do for a number of next to the living, I with the, with the playoff inbound, you play for a hard one in the postseason range. This one really keeps on happening with the struggle. They never really wanted to get that one over, and they really got to find another way to get this one as strong as they can. They don't want to get that one out at that point. Jalen Brunson starts things off in the second period, and it's now cut down by four. And yes, all say now, because Jalen says they saw that Jalen Brunson just got that one out there. You've been going in there if you can. The three for Isaac. Twisters in right the outside. That makes another two pointer for Jonathan Isaac near the sideline. The tracker doesn't happen to be us because they really say Jonathan Isaac just has it all. Now Bart, he's covered up on Isaac with a screen. With a, with a shot. Good stop by Wendell Carter Jr. as the ball's tipped over to Narkel Fultz. And Wagner will have it. Carter Jr. is on the outside. Now trying to follow it in. Reporter for Valley Little Force. As for Paul Vanchero, that's got a lot of rookies in the game. This season doesn't happen to be one of them if they get this one finished right in between. Well, I have nothing else to know for. And because of that, sometimes happens that Paolo Benchero really has to like finish that way up in there. They can't let that one get fooled up real. They not be a lot of lot of them. But they really just do not want to like try to settle it down right in this offense. They can't let that one get go by. And when you do it on your own, just send it off. Now the pass back again to Isaac. Six on the shot clock. Here's a two for Suggs, and shot's good. Suggs got seven points. 23-14 is the score. John Van Isaac with another assist. Now that's what they call that one here. This one really keeps on going. They say, what so goes. Josh Hart makes it in there. As he has another two-pointer bucket score. Win against Milwaukee at 26 points and 14 field goals and made three rebounds in this game. Now finds again to Wagner. Now he puts it over again to Suggs. Suggs brings it out to Fultz. Fultz with a sidestep. The two makes it in. Markel Fultz makes another two pointer bucket score. 5 3 left to remain in the first half of the period. Dante DiVincentis carries his screen into Hardenstein. And that one will send off a good pass off for Dante DiVincenzo. Hardenstein with another bucket. And here's Sucks. Sucks trying to clear out a bit. He now finds Wagner. Wagner trying to look it over now, trying to get over to Isaac. Just six on the shot clock. Three for Fultz. That one misses off target. 
Dante DiVincenzo on Colts. Now again to Brunson. Harden signs with him now. Carrying the triple. The range finds Ananobi. Wagner on him. Shoots over Ananobi. And another miss by New York. Wagner's got a second rebound looking for another takeover and he gets off to Isaac. Isaac swings again to Carter Jr. Here's the pass off to Suggs. Suggs steps in for two. Misses again. That shot range outside is not going to get it easy enough that they're going to try to like, keep on going. I don't think they would be able to do that once more. Another miss by New York. Now they're shooting like everyone. There are no protections to find them for so long. And, and this is why they, they didn't really think they were wanting to do this again. The screen for Wendell Carter Jr. We'll get back to Fultz. Five on a shot clock remain. Isaac for three. That one's missed off target. Brunson back the airway with three for you to go. Trying to take some a little bit more room and pressure. Now he finds it to DiVincenzo. He went back court already and he has turned over. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I say that it's pretty bad already. That one's going to be a mess up the chain, and that's going to be Orlando Magic back the airway. Now the timeout will be called by Orlando Magic as they will have some talkings over here with 3.35 left to go. Stick around here as we got our next game here coming up for tomorrow afternoon and for tomorrow night. We have another matchup as we get this thing underway back here in Western Conference. We start off with the team of the Pelicans facing against the Thunders in OKC. Probably a little in the next game as we have another one right in between as the Sixers face on against the Celtics back at TD Garden Arena. Following along with that one will be the Bucks facing against the Heat back at Pfizer.com. And finally, the last part of it all, the Timberwolves facing against the Suns at Target Center. That will be every game here from 12.30 to, to 9... Well, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll, call it, we'll call it 9, 9 p.m. That will be okay. Why not? Yeah, sure. That's a great choice. And speaking of this one here, coming up we got we got the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That's right now, I think a couple of the uh, commentators are ready to get this thing hyped up. And we're ready to see what goes in with another new change off. Right now, let's get this thing done right away before the first half comes to a close. Now with a new substitution all on the court, that's right now, there will be a lot of new changes in between. As Hardenstein's checked out. Coming up with another look at the for Jalen Brunson. He's doing really well at this point. 32.1 in first place. Now I saw that with Jalen Brunson. He made his first appearance in the All-Star game. He definitely has done a lot of his timing. I was really appreciative right now that Jalen Brunson did for the best of his game. Sometimes, however, I really say that Jalen Brunson and Ben Sherrard definitely could be in the All-Star games. Well, cool with that. I really like that. That's pretty cool. And Cher does it again. And it's and it's Harris with the assist. Now, here's Brunson. Decided to go for the finish, and yes he does. He makes that one with another drive. Jalen Brunson with 28 for this season. Now trying to look for some more. Now Wagner finds it over the block. Looks it over, now again to Banchero. Banchero trying to answer it back, now finding again to Harris. Harris, the back stepper, get back to Black. Black for the two. And that shot goes in. That's Harris with the assist as Black gets his first bucket. You know, that was pretty close right now. That Harris wants to get that dish up. That's a great, great uh, offensive communication to get that one over. Give that one a good spot. And another one puts in for Brunson. Another shot made, and this one goes back down by seven. Now Black, here's a three for Wagner. He'll get it back. Now Ventura's in the corner right now with two minutes remaining in the first half. Now he finds Harris. Near the corner, now finding it again. Over to Black. Three on a shot clock with a layup, and takes it in. Anthony Black with his second bucket. This one really has to be like Anthony Black's favorite drive. That may have been all the change up with Utah. And it's stolen by Black. Here he 
pounds, Ben Charles on it now. Eric's in the corner. Block for three. Cash in. That's a three-pointer rocket ball for Anthony Black. He has seven. Rice here with 90 seconds in the first half. Holding up all in between. On and down, Achua. Achua's got the ball, spinning on Wagner. Holding the cover in. Layup, misses again. Now he finds to Wagner. Wagner swings again to Wagner. Now finds a pass over to another Wagner. Here's Black. Back to Harris. And Wagner again. Another two. This one doesn't roll it. Well, there's two Wagners. I saw that. Well, they've been playing here for some time along with that one. They're called the Brothers of the Wagner. But I don't know if they got their full last names, but hopefully they simply just calls it for all. And that one ball's tipped away by Harris. Anthony Black to finish it off. The try makes it in. Black does it again. He has nine points, but under nearing a 30-second mark in the first half. Now that one swings it out for Anthony Black. That might be what you're looking for if you get it through. Brunson rolls it in and out. Wagner's got his perfect rebound of the night, and that will swing it over again to Black. Let the clock wind down in the first half. That will take care of it with 36-22. And the fans are loving it at that point. They wanted to keep that lead up again. And there you go. 36 22 is the score. We'll take a quick break here. Halftime show is coming up after this. But first, Allie of the Force. Hey, Allie. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. Coach, I saw you getting into your team. What's been the problem? Playing a low energy game, we got to get into the ball. Our ball pressure has to be a lot better. We've got to challenge shots, so we're playing low energy on offense. Energy goes a long way. Good luck getting that up in the second half. All right, Ali, thank you so much. Stand by for a period coming up. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. It is Bedlam here. The hometown crowd loving that first half. Hi, Bernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Katie the Jet Smith. Things were going Orlando's way from the beginning. Their sharp focus and apparent preparation for the matchup helped them zero in on an 8-2 run off the tip. Most of their well-earned lead evaporated, though, as they ended up with just a two-point lead at the end of one. Moving through quarter number two, their focus was razor sharp, and the points came with them. They also made some excellent defensive stops and are clearly in control of this one, up by 14. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Orlando played? They're getting a lot out of their bench, a lot. For the most part, opponent's game plan is to take away the starters. But then, when the second unit comes in and plays with this type of intensity and torches the nets, you created a whole new problem for the other team. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? I know it's not the case, but it seemed like they were lacking only an offensive game plan. Maybe some guys were improvising when they should have been making the next pass, but hey, not looking good out there. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. As you're about to do James in, we start the third quarter as it's now a 36-22 game. All the loving feeling puts in for Jalen Brunson as he's definitely made his first appearance in the All-Star game. Has to be more on aggressive than he has been ever taking on his time. Now to say about that, I say that Jalen Brunson has been going really well, like he does it for most of his big appearance of the game. I say now, he's been really up into a challenging, and I can't believe what they tell him, they get the dog. Yeah, same thing I always say Jalen Brunson, he's trying to like attack it in there. But tonight, he might do it again. It sucks, now finds again to Garris. He finds the pass, now back in over again to Van Chira. Banchero almost lost that ball, now finding Carter Jr. Carter Jr. trying to pull it out. Pulls it back, now finds Wagner. Here's the layup, and that one puts it in. The sharp one puts in for France Wagner. He has his first bucket, and again. You say what Frank Wagner does, that one starts things off. 
Now yeah, Brunson, an easy touch, easy drive is what goes with a number two. He has 14. And Sucks now finding Gardner Jr. Gardner Jr. trying a little bit over again. And Harris, good ball movement for the Orlando Magic. Manchero, want to get a Harris. They need to get some shot in. Wagner, over for the two. And good! Franz Wagner has his second bucket. And this one really needs to keep that one coming in. You know, in my it's just not really turned to be like right in the house. Three for Brunson. That misses again, offside of the target. And now again to Suggs. Here's another one here for Carter Jr. Finds again to Banchero. Banchero to cut it down. This one stopped again. As hard as side has the ball and now finding to get to Brunson. Brunson trying to roll it over. The screen finds Hardenstein on a throw down. This one takes a two game jam. This one really keeps on coming down. The entire cruise is not going to get used to this because if you don't get this one right, you got to make sure you get that one finishing in between. Find a cover if you can. Wagner now finding again to Manchero. He rolls out the sucks. Sucks trying to give it again to Wagner. The bounce pass. Harris from the corner. That one shot went off wide. And Brunson on his way down. Screen has been picked up. The layup puts in, and it's good. Number one for Jalen Brunson, he has 16. Back down by 10 to go with 5.25 to go. And Wagner now gives the game to Harris. Harris trying to roll it in. Finds a pass to Ventura. Again, now finding over to Wagner. Use a three for Suggs. And three cuts in! What a take in! That's now a 43-30 game. They lead by 13. They just really got to go keep on the threes going. They make sure they stay alive in between. I really don't have anything what they can call for if they get this one done. Brunson on it now by Suggs. He has it for three. Misses again. Arjuna now finds Banchero. Banchero swings it off to Carter Jr. He now has it again to Banchero. Over right around the other team, team Vincenzo, he's fouled. Banchero unable to complete the drive as this one never goes with another foul for the New York Knicks. Jalen Brunson looked like he wants to get up with his new pointage out there. What do you think? Well, they're starting to get that one a lot of down draws in that one. I think he could beat over 37 points, 7 points for the last three games. So, let's see what he does. He is the first free throw. And now with a new substitutional change off as Achua, McBride, and Bogdanovich are checked in. The Magic are also making new changes as Ingles, Jonathan Isaac, Fultz, and Cole Anthony checking in. All four of our the players are checked out. And he is the second. Here's Burks. Up to take his own time. Now finds McBride. McBride with a screen. Watching from here, now find Robinson. Robinson now finds McBride. McBride tries to give again to Robinson. Robinson trying to hold it, and it's ball loose by Fultz. Here's Anthony. And Isaac, here he comes. Oh, what a jam! Jonathan Isaac had that one with the slamming down, and this one is now at four points in this game. Oh, take the monster jam. That's a takeout when you want. Ali LaForce has a reporter right now here for Tom Fabinio. He talked to one of his head coaches here. He had a good interview, and he's been talking to one of them over. He said to his quote, this is lifelong of the team. I have a lot of important feeling that we got to try to like stick it in between. I mean, he says, this was our team that we need to do. So let's go and work. And this is what they already done. When the New York Knicks go out there, they've got to bring it out. Back to a timing on the angle of struggle. And this is not what they usually say because some of the video just really need to get that one focused out. That's what the hard one comes. Here's Hardenstein on Isaac. 
The tip-off pass almost lost, but it's still recovered. Madonic on Ingles. The screen for Hardenstein. Still got it covered. Hardenstein holding on with the ball. That two-pointer misses again. Isaac's got his third rebound. Now finding goal Anthony. Here comes Isaac. Back again to Anthony. Ingles for the triple. Range and Art makes it in. Joe Ingles got his first three-pointer, and it's now extended up by 20. You may now know you don't have that one timing. I don't know what you can do, but don't give that one struggle if you can. Robinson still struggling in the corner. Now finding again. Now back to Burks. Burks with it now. Trying to struggle in. Over Fultz. It's good. He makes the number two pointer. Burks got his first bucket in game two. Trying to look for an attacker to get back in. And Anthony now finds again a Ventura. We're down to two minutes remaining in the third period in the corner as Ingles has on the outside. Banchero trying to look it over again. Bounce pass to Anthony. Here's the take. Inside the arc. And good. Pull Anthony with his first bucket. Banchero with the assist. Trying to answer it in. You know, rookie's idea. I say that wouldn't turn to be like it's a great idea. Just start things off if you can. Trying to cover on Ardenstein. Works for two and three. Triple range, no doubt. Well, he's starting to lose a lot of the pressure, Mike, and this was not an easy joke. This answer is not always the easier way, and you can't let that one get right to between. And I know nobody can really get there. That's a hard one to try to stop him out. I mean, you don't want to get that one messed up. Fultz, now finding again to Isaac. Isaac with a shot. And two misses. Ingles up. What a layup. Ingles got his second bucket. It's now a 56 34 game. Now it's a pass to Hardenstein and McBride has it. Back stepper in between. With that shot. The damage for three. It's good. The range outside keeps it going. It's now a 56 37 game. Anthony tries to hold it off to Banchero. To do it again? Oh, what a cut through. Banchero has his 12 points in the game. Now, I never see what Paulo Banchero was going to get that one there successful. That's a great pickup play. You're getting this one done fast. He finds Ernstein, and Isaac denies that shot. Substitution on the court, now ready to take on. That's why we will be checking in. And right now, Achua checked in for, for, um, yeah, sorry, I kept forgetting the name, but you'll, you'll see. Achua finds Bogdanovich, and a pass back to Robinson. Robinson now finding a bribe with five seconds. The screen has been denied. And a two range, no good. And that one unplugs the shot clock. Eagles got a ball. And he has his third rebound. Roll down the clock here as this one will get back to Anthony. Anthony pulls for two. And he does it! Makes a two pointer in there to end the third quarter. Oh, I can't believe it. This one does happen to go with his ever back to back scores. And you know you always say, don't mess up a jar of an Isaac if you can. Third quarter comes to the end. It's 60-37 game. Fourth quarter coming up after the break. And we'll get right to you soon. And a reveal now for Tom Committee over the head coach. The struggling defense has it all covered in there. They're trying to look for some, uh, someone else, but they can't let that one go in between. You know, they say what the hard defenders are not really like trying to be their better player this game. The average doesn't help and doesn't answer it when they get that one done. I don't know if they would have it all, but this one may not be easy. At the starting final group, we're all set to go as Suggs, Peter Dante DiVincenzo, Van Josh Clark, he's with Von Wagner, Vance Brunson, he's on Paul Anthony. Following along 
long here we're going to have a as we give off to, off to Wagner against Achua. And finally, we have it all coming in between to give this one up. It's uh, it's another one as Wagner has it across here and we'll, then we'll pull. Sorry. As Jonathan Isaac has it over on Josh Kerr. Now Anthony gives again to Wagner. Seven on the shot clock. The range puts in for sucks. Three for Anthony, for two. Two-pointer doesn't hit it off. That shot angle is difficult for Cole Anthony to like take over this. But I don't think that will not affect for him if he does. And another two puts in for Jalen Brunson. He's on fire. He's 20 points in this game. The last time it was 32 points. That one really had muscled its way through and took that way off. Yeah, it definitely was saying that. That is going to like be a hard and lots of shots to remain here. And I never know what goes on if it's another changeoff to make it from here. Now he finds the pass to Anthony, now gets again to Suggs. Here's a two, and that was six and a half. Jalen Suggs with his clock breaks in the game. 62 41 to score. We are down to 6 15 in the fourth quarter. Now here's Dante DiVincenzo over on Jalen Brunson. A solid D performed by Cole Anthony. Now he gets off to Isaac to finish the drive using their left hand to lift it up and make the drive in their camp. He's got six points in this game in game two. Now they say Jonathan Isaac really got made that quick on a dry foot. I say that one does happen a lot. Great uh, effort to take over this. I mean, go for all if you can. Now rolls around and went in the bucket for Mitchell Robinson. Timeout call by Orlando Magic with only 539 to go. Looks like they definitely do want to get a little bit more time here if they get another bucket in. Well, certainly, they definitely really want to do that one. Hopefully they might keep that one tracked down as they can. When it comes after tonight, tomorrow night's game, we have another one that will be in here for once here. As for game three, we'll be underway here soon, as for the last part of the game, we'll start things off here. The first part of the game, as we skip this thing, is the OKC Thunders facing against the New Orleans Pelicans. Following along with the next game, it's the Sixers versus the Celtics. Then the third game, which will be the Heat and Bucks back at Vicer now for them. And the fourth game, we'll all determine to go with the Suns against the Timberwolves back at Minnesota. That will be at 8.30 p.m. Make that one sure you can group the count, and that will be on Martin Calendar. a new substitution on the court as Ben Charles checked back in. Now he's on our one for slots. He finds out of Harris. Harris to try to get it off the two. That one didn't go in. Our one with our rebound. I don't know if he with the ball. Now by DiVincenzo and he's fouled by Gary Harris. As his first personal and her first team foul for the Orlando Magic. Now, no one likes that one here. Dante DiVincenzo has been trying to shoot really hard with his confident feelings. That doesn't help me, and that doesn't mean he gets his one finished and get it done. Dante DiVincenzo on the free throw line, shooting two, with 5.26 to go. He makes the first one in there. We would like to remind you that the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. So he made... After he made his attempt one out of two free throws, here's, here's Banchero now finding Suggs. Suggs gives again to Banchero on a triple range. Three, cash in. That was another one for Banchero, and he has 15 points. We'll say now that Banchero really may have that one with the three quarter. It may never get what you've got to go through. Give that call a go ahead goal.
Here's Hart, trying to attack his way for the two for DiVincenzo. It's no good. We're under five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. It's a 67-44 game. Now he gives off to Wagner. Wagner now finally getting to Gloria Jr. Now over again to Suggs. Suggs gets again to Manchera. Off for two. And good. Another two point range for Banchero. He's got 17 points. Now Mason, now Banchero cannot leave alone. I may know where you saw that one there, because there's one coming by. And a silent crowd puts it in as a drive will put up for Dante DiVincenzo. It sucks. Finds a pass to Wagner. Pass pass to Carter Jr. Around the layup and good. Wait up, Carter Jr. Heat stays up. Timeout call by the New York Knicks with under four minutes remaining in the fourth period of the game. We'll take a quick side here, and this one we'll get ready for another chance to get this through. Well, they really like dominating it. Just keep that one going if you get this one through right away. That's what they all say. Don't leave the mess over it. <laughs> Don't let that one come in to fool you. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. A moment that inspires. Stay Farm. Call or get a free quote now at one 800 stay Farm. Like a good neighbor, Stay Farm is there. And by Sour Patch Kids. Sweet, sour, gone. We now will be present to you your new balance player of the game, Paolo Benchero. You know, Paolo Benchero does really have that when you're with the rookie players. I say he's like a biggest star, but the famous is not always that perfect at all, and he does have it all of it to make improvements. The stand alone, it's just not always what you really want it to do. But Banchero has that one covered in. He's got to get that one going ahead again and again. Now here's Burks. He will start things off here. 71 to 46 to score. And we're nearing down the end of the final, th our final three minutes. And defensive free second must have been called on Wendell Carter Jr. So this time this will be a, a free throw, technical free throw for the New York Knicks for Alex Burr with 346. Well, they're losing a lot of time already. I mean, I don't know what theirs was the choice, but is there another way that they can try to like answer that one? I don't think so. This will be only for two free throws if he makes it in. He makes the first one in there. Just for one. And as we get this thing wrapping up here right now at this moment, as we start wrapping things up in the first day of the game two, as we got the Nuggets and the Warriors in the Mile High Arena, the next commentary I will have is Mr. Son of Beast, and he's also along with Tyler Beast. And finally, the third commentary will be Ballpoint Pen. That will be happening here at 9.30 p.m. only on Sun and Peace. So that's coming up later tonight, right here on Sun and Peace. After the foul put up from Wendell Carter Jr., it's now the New York Knicks. Bob McDonough at the free throw line, shooting two. He makes the first free throw. New line group substitutional. Because right now, a couple players have checked in and out. Josh Hart, he's ready to take us on his way down. As a couple players have checked out. And he makes the second. And now Wagner, he's on his way down. 
Just only 3.30 left to go in the fourth quarter. 71 to 49 is the score. Now, the pass over to Harris. This again to Wagner. Over Bogdanovich. And he gets that one bucket in. Little range here for Frank Wagner. He has six. Well, that's what you can definitely tell now because Wagner just had that one set up in there for good. And that one turns over. Another turnover releases for the New York Knicks with three of seven. On his way down now is Jalen Suggs. Suggs gives again to Wagner. Pulls it over again to Banchero. And Carter Jr. Now finding Suggs over to get a Banchero. Now finds this is Suggs. Harris up. The two pointer. That rolls off the rip. Well, it's not easy when you just say that when you try to like leave it out. You know, you don't take that one off that seriously. But that one really messes up. What a block for Carter Jr. I mean, there is a lot of your magic with the shot blocks in between. And it finished, wow! That's how you slam that dunk down. Yep, that challenge sucks that that one has to courtesy beat that one in there just to lead off. McBride had the ball. We'll try to leave it off. For two, rebound it up. And Arnstein will deliver it with the layup. Two minutes remaining in to the fourth quarter. As right now, as Wagner will have it. Trying to score in for the next one here. But looking for game three if he gets back. Sucks. Gives again to Wagner. Wagner faces it again. Finding back to Banchero. Banchero gives again to Carter. The three for Sucks. That one misses off the target. It's not always you say when you make the free pointers or wharf again. Because there was no other way where they could try to like leave that one open with the bar. That seemed to be a little bit too tricky. I mean not nothing able to call for it. And that one sent in for Dante DiVincento. It's a 75-53 game. Here's Suggs. He's coming up by McBride. And Harris gives again a Wagner. Here's another one. Suggs up and good. That one was a tricky layup on that shot here, but just a floater, no problem. 16 points for him. Hardenstein on Carter Jr. McBride for three. And good. The triple range puts it back in there. It's a 77-56 game. You know, back-to-back -back three pointers are not always that easy enough when you just make that one up. Oh comfortable on their way. But I get a feeling right now, it, it is not what they always do when they keep on shooting. And Chow gives again to Suggs, now back again to Carter Jr. And that one will throw it in, right around Hardenstein, with 42 seconds to go. Looks like their last position could be it. And there is a foul on Hardenstein. And that one will change it over to Magic Ball. Final group substitutions are on the board. Three players checked out and three players checked in. Achua, Robinson, and Burks. As a Magic will do the same thing as Anthony and Black, along with Ingles, are checked in. Leaving the clock wind down, Black will give it off to Wagner. As the fans make their applause, this one will just end off here. And no more for the Magic, they will hit that one clock down in here. Wagner could try to take it, and that one will not be there. So if they ended off their game here, they are now tied up in the series. 79 to 56, your final score. Well, it's always a game imaginable play, and I always know it's a fun one. You can expect now with the crowd, with the fan, pure Magic life than ever. And that's for those days now. Take all care, folks, and see you again soon. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. For me, Terry Crews, along with me, Phone, and Ultra Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs in 2K Sports, along with Ali LaForce. Thanks for joining us, folks, and see you all again next time. So long, everyone.
thank you so much right now. The great wind puts it up for the start gear as now for the field goal has made the range. Orlando does it all with 62 and 33 three-pointers and field goals. It was okay for now, but not for long. Only the free throws was only turning to be perfectly for the magic. Well, there's a lot of way that they're going to try to take all for it for sure. And I don't, there's no other way, way that I can definitely try to save that one for at least. And for other games, for a reason, it's not always what you wanted to do. But that fast break points comes in handy. Eight points for trying to be great for magic. While the other side had to be even up here for the points in paint for 34 and 4. Four in between of Orlando and New York. But the bench points and assists turned to be 28 and 32 for Orlando Magic and New York Knicks. Only six offensive rebounds for the New York Knicks. 23 for the Orlando Magic here for the defensive rebounds, and it's only four steals in the block. Just one turnover. Both teams have team fouls right in between of the Knicks and Magic. And three dunks only happen to be with Orlando. 26 biggest lead and 13.39 was the time of possession. Now it's time for your new, your you call it, your three star players of the game. All for you, fan. All right, thank you so much. We start things off here for number three as we get this thing up here for the star. Jalen Sucks has that one with a 16 points, only with two rebounds. Then five assists happen to be once for all. Seven out of 10 field goals, perfect enough. But I say two, three, four pointers of the three turn to be excellent. Only 27 performance run, and one dunk has definitely made it all, and that was all you took. Number two, Paolo Banchero with his New Balance player to game. 17 points, three rebounds, four assists, but not for long he does something else with two blocks. Just one here, and the other one on the other side on the defender. And only 25 performance effort, he just only did that. 6 out of 9 field goals, 1 3 pointer, only a 2 or 3 pointers, of course. That one turned to be like it's all for everything. And for your number 1 star, Jalen Brunson. 20 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, no kidding. He only had 10 out of 16 field goals, but missed so many attempts here with the 3 pointers, he never just got that one in there. But only just happened to be only the layups and the Drive puts in the jump shot with 24 performance of his effort. I guess that's definitely it now to test two. That was tonight's game, and we're ready for the last one before the end of the first day. Yeah, that's definitely true. If you guys wait waiting on for the magic to come back into the uh, in the garden, you'll see them pretty again soon. But the next one coming up for the final game of day one is Warriors and the Nuggets. I'll see you all back again soon. We'll clean everything up and get back into work. Peace out, everybody, for an NBA 2K24 playoff dial. Me and Fan will be back soon. See you later, folks. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.